This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, does polypainting have an erase function? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about erasing polypainting after you have it applied to a model. So I'm going to come over here and just make sure I have the standard brush selected. I'm going to turn RGB on, turn Z add off, and then I'm going to go to the color picker over here and just pick a bluish color. So by default, you can come through and select a color. And as long as you have RGB on, if you drag on your model, it's going to perform a paint function like so. So it's going to apply color to the vertices of the model. So let's say you've gone through and you've painted a bunch of areas on Earthquake here. And now you want to come back and erase some of these areas. So you want to bring back that texture you had underneath. Well, by default, the poly painting function inside ZBrush does not allow you to erase. You could come through and select a color in another area. So say if I hover over Earthquake's chest here and then press C to select that color, I can paint with that color, which generates a semi-erase function here. However, you'll notice that I'm losing that skin detail that was on the mesh there as I perform this, since I'm just applying a similar color to that existing area. So fear not, there is a way to apply poly painting and also have the functionality of erasing. And this can be achieved by using poly painting with layers. So I'm just going to undo the strokes I just made here on Earthquake to get back to his original version here. Then I'm going to go over to the tool palette over here. I'm going to open up this layers area and I'm just going to create a new layer. So you can see after I press this button, I now have a new layer and record mode is active. So I'm going to go back over to my color palette over here, and I'm going to select a bluish color again. And now I'm going to apply that same process. So I'm going to come across Earthquake here and click and drag and just add some blue paint here and maybe some blue paint here. So after you have painting applied to a layer, if you come back through and now hold down the Alt button and then drag, it's going to perform an erase. And you'll notice that when you perform this erase, it's going to just erase that poly painting that was applied to that layer exposing the polypaint data you had originally on the model. So you can see all that skin detail is still there after we did that erase. So the process again is just to add a layer to your model, make sure it's in record mode. You can now come through and paint anywhere on the surface. And then if you hold down Alt and paint over that area again, it's going to perform an erase. Now one other thing to note about this is you'll notice that as I was performing this erase here, I'm getting a slight dark edge around the area that I'm erasing. And this is because we have this alternate button over here active. So when this alternate button is active, if you press the Alt key on your keyboard, it's going to apply the secondary color to your stroke. So if you want to keep your color pure, and when you erase, not have this dark line that happens, just come over here and disable this alternate button. And now if you hold down Alt to perform that erase on that layer, it's going to give you a pure color erase rather than adding that little border edge there. So just another thing to take note of if you use the layer functionality along with poly painting, just make sure you have that alternate button turned off and that's gonna allow you to hold down Alt and paint on your model and erase and it's just going to apply that pure coloring. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.